another nerd block, arcade block, something like that block. And um, one thing I forgot to mention in the, the previous one is that it is a mystery box, but it's a mystery, so it's a mystery to me, but when I opened it up it's probably still a mystery to me because I don't know probably half of what, what's in there. So, um, it's heavy. Actually like that, I suppose it is meant to look like a player or something like that anyway. I probably need a show. Oh. Um, anyway, I have to open this thing somehow. I can use my teeth. Oh. Right. Much easier than parking. Oh. That opened up really easy. That sounded like something dragged up from the deep. Okay. Oh, look. We have... Bubble wrap. Just the thing for those annoying... Annoying things that... Pretend that you're sitting by a log fire. Seconds of fun with that. Right, now, since you would have seen where I got that, got that from, there is more plastic. As I said last time, um, there is plastic, lots of plastic, so just keep that away from living, living things. You know, it smells pretty bad, so... You can, you can do similar things like that. There we go. So, what have we got? Right. We have Sonic the Hedgehog. So, oh god, I'm going to be mindful. There we go. Not to flare you. Oh, look at that. Here. There's the straw. Oh gosh, I've got to line this up now. There's the straw. <laughs> so, mm, yes. Uh, so that's Sonic the Hedgehog, double something cup with straw. I like how it has to actually tell you that it has the straw. But in actual fact, it's obvious it does have the straw. Now if it came like... I, I don't think you meant to remove it. Oh. unscrew it instead. So in order to have Sonic you gotta screw it. So straw it's, it's just a blue. Alright, I won't throw that throw that aside like I normally do because now, I wonder if these are dishwasher safe. Mm, uh, okay. Now we've got um, looks like a tea towel. Oh, <laughs> that's because it is a tea towel. So, put this down here for a sec. So, given that it's a tea towel, one will have, we presume that we have had tea. And it's the. Um, Now, let it be said, I have no idea. I have, I have even less idea. <laughs> so, just so that we know, that actually sounds like something to do with water, perhaps. It's, it's a new lake that's formed somewhere. So, you've got... There's two. All right. Interesting colour. I could always wear one. Do something like this. I can have 
one is a a bandana. No, hang on, I'm not getting that right at all. Or I can have one as a scarf, like you would. Um, or since there's two, I can unfurl them and then make killer earrings. So I can't read the script on here, unfortunately, but, and I certainly can't read it since I can't see it and it's backward and all that sort of stuff. And I hope I can still be here. And there is that one as well. Hello, and the colors go all funny. Just mess with the colours of the. There we go. Have it look all kind of discoy and groovy and stuff like that. So yes, anyway. So there, there are a couple of tea towels for you to, you know, wipe after having your tea, which is, which would be the idea. Uh, we have. Oh. Super salt and pepper. This might actually be something I might know. No, this, this doesn't happen very often. Oh. Um, what I didn't know was that that polystyrene. I, I think this is its own jigsaw puzzle. Get in there. Oh, it's, 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 it's Christmas time in um, arcade block land. Um, is that going to wear something then? Oh dear. <laughs> it kind of has got me everywhere. <laughs> Take that off, and look what it's done to my hands. Gosh, isn't that the worst case of dandruff? There we go. Make it, make it look like I've, I've been out in the... <laughs> looks like I'm going to light up in those particular sections. Anyway, oh dear. the vacuum cleaner's going to be working overtime with this one. Merry Christmas in March. Now, um... I think I get the other one out. Uh, oh, where did I? Oh, there it is. I think it's meant to be a salt shaker. Gosh, it's even got some of the polystyrene in it. So I think it's a... I think it's... Well, I think it's a salt shaker. Is that, or it's a very large button. Maybe. Um, so anyway, beautiful green. Goes perfectly well with that uh, late 60s, early 70s decor. I think that would look marvellous next to those olive green cups and stuff like and the plates and all of that kind of thing. You could have a whirl of a time with that. Um, and if, if, if you grow bored with it, it'd make a fantastic paperweight. You know, got to keep those papers together. I won't throw that one away either because it looks, looks breakable. Um, so we've got, that would be salt, I think. Oh. Helps if I read it first. Salt and pepper. Does this mean that I'm wearing this? Oh dear, oh dear. That, this means that I'm wearing the salt. Yeah, let's just have a flare and all that kind of stuff everywhere. That means I'm wearing the salt, which means that something, something else is in there. All right.
there's more in there. Um, there we go. We're, at least we don't have chicken little. You know, the sky is falling. Now, from the looks of things, oh my gosh, a bit dusty. From the looks of things, you're supposed to do it like. It's funny, you know. The picture there. Let's try and get it to. Not for, there we go. So the picture there, compared to that, that looks like that would stick in there absolutely perfectly. Whereas, um, that doesn't. Um, so, and no, this is not the kind of mushroom that you can put on your pizzas or make a special stew out of, or mind you, <laughs> with those little red dots, it looks like you could, yeah, they could, actually they could also be a decent button, I, mean, I can put, in, instead of, this, I can see this ending badly too. So instead of having the button, uh, having the thing like that, oh yes, might be better as a necklace perhaps, put some string or some beads or something like that around it. So you've got this, which I won't jiggle around like I did last month's bobblehead thing, um, because I, I probably wouldn't be very good at gluing these back together. Uh, so I'll just detach them from my fingers somewhere and I'll place them gently over here with the tea towels. More plastic. Okay, it looks like a tre treasure chest thing. So there's a little pirate around when you need one. Oh, I don't have to rip it open, but it's, it's already... Right. Now I'm assuming this is to do with that, yeah. Oh. Um, I think this is supposed to be an instruction thing. Instruction. Okay. Um, this is this is the thing. Oh, no, I forgot about this last time too. This is the thing that you get to tell you what it exactly is. But the problem is with me doing these as I go. Um, I oh, it's so a Sonic the Hedgehog drinking cup. And the problem is. That print is oh, I'm not flaring it. That print is so small I didn't require a microscope to see the darn thing. So yeah. But basically that's got all of this stuff that um, is in the notebook. But the something treasure chest. I can't read it. <clears throat> Alright, so this is a, a treasure chest thing with a game I have no idea about with a little big red diamondy thing sticking out. I don't think it's a ring because it's probably meant to represent something. Oh yeah. So it's rubber underneath. So you got a rubber ring. Oh <laughs> gee. You, you would, oh, it's got sharp bits. No, that's the cardboard. Yeah. So basically, this is a rubber ring for something, and it's red. So it's a red rubber ring, as opposed to a red rubber ball. So I just put that back in there, and uh, if nothing else, can cut a hole in the in the top and use it as a money box, and then you can have seconds of fun. Uh, the next bit, the, oh, so this is a thing for the March Mega Block. Uh, March, March's Block, which I, I like the name for that, March's Block, because it sounds like people have blocks on their heads and down the street, down the street. And so that March Megablock has some great Capcom, I, th I think it's the polystyrene's getting through my brain. 
Uh, had some great Capcom exclusives from Mega Man. Well, everyone's got to know a Mega Man, don't they? Now comes the t-shirt. This is going to be interesting. Right, so this is... Oh, there's stuff everywhere. This is... Oh, goodness me. So that's the t-shirt. Sort of very Pikachu there, I think. Oh, gosh, doesn't that make the colour look fantastic? Well... Mm. Oh, God, there's even some... Oh my goodness me. <laughs> it's not going to come out. <laughs> oh, <Lordy. clears throat> While I'm coiffing my hair, oh look at it, it's given it oh, such, such body. Um, oh, blimey, this is going to be interesting. Right, so there's going to be little pills of balls on the inside. So, what do we, what we do? It doesn't help that it's black either. So this is our little Pikachu thing t-shirt, looking all mean and moody. Actually, it does kind of in silhouette. It does look quite mean and moody. Um, initially, when I looked at it, it actually looked like it could have been a face, like a, an actual evil, yucky face. Oh, that looks like one of the Pac-Man ghosts there. And this has got... I just can't get over those eyes. You can almost kind of get that whole uh, Pulp Fiction thing happening in. So... Uh, and it's got that funny sort of uh, washboard type thing. But I probably shouldn't do that too much because Pikachu will wind up with little stripes down his face because of my nails. And so, um, effectively, that's actually that, this is where it makes a great hat. Uh, or it's just a good way of blanking out my face. Uh, so, last but not least, we have. Uh, six game collection of the award winning bit trip series and so you've got again that the, it's oh, gee, yeah let's just do that eh? but again the, the print is just a little bit small for me to to read but you know on the big screen you can pause it and sort of um, zoom it in just to just to that so that you don't see my ugly mug with, with horrible looking dandruff in his hair and so lots of orange, I like lots of orange and stuff like that. And it's shrink wrapped as well. Um, so you don't have to worry, I'm not going to um, put my, my teeth to it or anything like that. And if it's really no good, just go out the, out the back and use it as a frisbee or something like that. It can be, uh, it would at least suit that purpose for at least once unless it goes over to the neighbour's fence, and in which case you can send them a note and say, here, here's a present for you. So, um, I think that's that's everything. So yeah, we got, anyway, so I think that's probably it. It's going to be a bit of dust busting and vacuuming that's going to go on because of the snowstorm that's just occurred. And how did I breathe any of that in? It's extraordinary. My God, it does like to stick though. Um, just static electricity works wonders. Mm. So when I'm in trying to sort of get all of this, oh gosh, in 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 getting this all out of my Hair. This has proved to be the, a worse idea than when I did the 80s look. Alright, well, I'm going to say bye bye to this disaster. And I would put everything back in the box, but I kind of get the feeling that I'd better clean up the polystyrene first before putting the stuff back into the box because I'm going to be at this all night. <laughs> so I hope you enjoyed this rather train wreck of a. <laughs> 
<laughs> of a re review. And um, see, even the neighbours' dogs think this is dreadful. So, and now it's agreeing. So I shall be back uh, next month to do another one of these, to destroy yet another one of these. And hopefully the snowstorm will have abated by then. And um, Daniel will be back. Daniel will be... He'll be doing something. Essentially, what he'll be doing is he'll be opening this up and he'll actually know what he's, what, what's, what this is all about as opposed to me that's just flying blind. Um, especially when he's holding stuff in front of the screen, like tea towels. And he, oh, oops, I forget the right one. Tea towels like this that... They look like little balloons down there. Hmm. What are they? Oh, I know what they are. It's giant popcorn. Hey. You can have an hour of fun with that. Uh, so. <laughs> so. Uh, anyway, I'll, t I'll tidy all of this up. Daniel will then. Um, be able to open open it up as well. I don't think there we go. Um, I don't think you'd create the snowstorm that, that I did, mind you. It's a lot. It'd be a lot easier to get out of his hair than me. So if you you like it, thank you. <laughs> and if you don't, I wouldn't blame you. Uh, so anyway, do the whole like and subscribe thing, etc, etc, you know, either up there or down there or up there or wherever he decides to shove the thing around. And I'll see you next time and the next video will be Daniel doing his stuff. And I think after seeing this mess he probably will be doing his stuff in another way. So I shall check, I shall catch you later. So you'll be going through the air and I'll be oof, and you'll be thinking, what on earth? Um, so yes, I shall be off to get this rubbish out of my hair now I'm just rambling. So I shall go, I shall tr trundle off into the ether and I'll catch you next time. And hopefully this one won't be quite as a train wreck, quite, quite as much of a train wreck as this one. So. Ciao, ciao for now, and like I said, the next video will be from, from Daniel. Okay, you take care guys, and I'll see you next time.